Hi, my name is Blair Bishop. I'm a nurse practitioner and I work at Capital Coast Health, which is based out of Wellington, for the addiction service there. The addiction service is essentially a community mental health team, um, but we have an extra specialisation, which is we all understand and work with people with substance use disorders. So the brief overview of my presentation is that it's a brief overview of addiction. Um, because this is a HIV symposium, I've just been asked to do, I guess, a little bit of a preamble um, before the chemsex flux study is presented. So I'm the chem bit to chemsex. Yeah, there's three key points to my presentation. The first is that most people successfully use substances, but there's a group of people who struggle with that use, and that's a use disorder, which is primarily a disorder of behaviour. And importantly, we know that people do better when they become reconnected with their communities, and that isolation and a lack of connection increases the risk of harmful substance use. Well, I hope it will help people who um, are health professionals and work with um, the HIV community and um, non-health professionals see substance use in a sort of more simple, straightforward way and aren't threatened by um, people who use substances and aren't threatened by the process of using substances because people largely use them in a in a reasonable way. And so then that removes the focus from someone using substances and moves it towards how they function and how they do more generally in, um, in broader brushstrokes in their life. So health professionals aren't just honing in on the fact that someone's using methamphetamine or using ketamine. Yes, yeah, so your question is what are the things that define a movement from someone just using substances to having an addiction? And that's primarily how their functionality is affected. So functionality can be seen as these kind of um, as relationships or your ability to work or your ability to um, maintain basic living habits, so getting up, eating, drinking, um, budgeting your money. So when all these things start falling over and people find themselves um, vulnerable because of their substance use and they can't claw that back and steady the ship, I guess, there's lots of mixed metaphors here, then the, those are flags that someone has, has a problem or may be developing a use disorder and of course it could be mild or it could be severe. Severe use disorder has obvious physical and psychological harms that a lay person would probably easily pick up and but there's a whole range of mild to moderate use disorders that can fly under the radar. Uh, 